Through the summer, many of my dives had shown me large schools of white sea bass. From time to time, I had my camera, and I was able to capture images such as these here. Happy with my video captures, I still wanted to put some fish in the freezer. I decided it's time to go searching for these fish with a gun. The first several trips out were busts. Either the visibility was okay and the fish were not around, or the visibility was too bad to see much of anything at all. Getting fed up with bad conditions, I put a closer than usual eye on the weather. We had some questionable conditions for quite a while, but at some point, it looked like the window would arrive. We chose a day and met at 7.30 in the morning. We paddle out to our chosen spot. I make my first dive down under my kayak and try to clear most of the bubbles from my wetsuit. I go to the bottom and immediately I'm rewarded with clear and warm 61 degree water. I feel optimistic about the day. I get a little lost watching the rainbow surf perch and blue rockfish, but I stay on task. I clear a few more bubbles out of my suit and move on. My typical dives are down to 15 feet where I can see the bottom and the surface. I scan around, but especially high in the water. At 9-11 a.m. on my seventh dive, I find my fish. I was nearing the end of my breath hold and I'm heading towards a dark area to my right. That is when I notice a fish on my left. I back up a little so I can clear my gun around a kelp plant. The fish is about 10 feet deep and appears asleep. After a minute and 20 seconds, the fish slows down, which is good since my reel is almost empty. I leave my gun floating and start to follow the yellow line through the kelp. I knew the fish had gone far since there was so much line out, but I was amazed how much kelp she had wrapped up. At one point, she turns 180 degrees and heads back towards our starting point. Here I'm watching the skeleton shrimp and other plankton while I take a breath and a break. Back to following the line, I start to wonder if I gave her too much line to run with. At this point, my dive buddy is paddled over from the bed he is working to spot me with this fish. As I pass my gun floating in the kelp, I wonder how I missed the fish swimming by me as I gave her line. Here, I see the shooting line for the first time, and I get excited for my first view of the fish since I shot several minutes ago. There she is, ten feet below me, wrapped in kelp and looking secure. I go up for a full breathe up. I dive to the bottom and the fish. She looks dead, but I stab her to be sure since a fish like this has deadly potential. I cut her loose from the kelp and make for the surface. And now the work begins in entangling the reel line. <laughs> 